it might be very attractive to pursue a job like a system administrator for the potential and high salary, the exciting tech you get to work with, and the title it affords you. But getting to that level is actually hard as it takes having quite a bit of knowledge and experience under your belt. So in this video, I want to answer the question, what exactly is a system administrator and what do they do? At a higher level, a system administrator is a person who is responsible for the upkeep, configuration, and reliable operation of computer systems. This is especially true for multi-user computers such as servers. So let's break that down a bit further. In order for a business to operate properly, it will need some software, hardware, networking, and multitude of services. These might be things like in email, file storage, websites, and much more. So the system administrator would be the person or a team that would be working often in the background to make sure that all of these things are working at all times. Within an existing company, they are the people that make sure that users can send email to each other externally, have a secure place they can store their data and are able to log into their company network and access services and the internet, in addition to a multitude of other things. They also have to think about all the caveats that come with managing software, hardware, and networks. Things like security, data integrity, troubleshooting, vendor management, and much, much more. So you can see just how complex a system administrator job can be. And that's precisely the reason why not all system administrator jobs are created equally. Oftentimes, if you look at the job descriptions of a system administrator role, they tend to vary quite a lot. This is mainly due to the complexity of the job, the sheer amount of technologies you used in the businesses, and the inaccurate label of the job often by members of HR or leadership positions. You might often hear that a system administrator is a jack of all trades, but master of none. That's because a system administrator will usually need multitude of skills in order to manage a functioning infrastructure, especially if they are the sole person managing the whole infrastructure. They'll need skills like database administration, cloud administration, networking, scripting, and much, much more, just to have an infrastructure that can cater to the business at hand. As the business grows, a company might hire more specialized roles like network administrator, a database administrator, allowing the system administrator to focus on the upkeep of the servers and the infrastructure. Because of the complexity of the job, it's also important to note what system administrators are not. They are not help desk, IT support, or desktop support. Those are roles in IT that focus primarily on providing first level support to users. They are not system engineers or architects. They are much more focused on the planning, assessing, and designing of systems rather than the day-to-day -day operations. This is not to say that system administrators will not be doing any of these, but rather that it should not be the focus of their jobs. And if it is, it's more on the misrepresentation of the job than it is the actual responsibility of a system administrator. But once again, that's that line can be blurry depending on the size of the company, the complexity of the infrastructure, and the stakeholders involved. So if you're looking to get into system administration, one of the most common and traditional way of doing so is by first getting into an entry-level position like help desk, desktop support, or IT support. I'll be making videos on what that is and the skills needed to get there. So be sure to subscribe not to miss any of that. Let me know in the comments if you have any further questions on uh, system administration and what they do, or if I missed any crucial things about what a system administrator is. And until next time, peace.